China remains a hot topic in the news these days. It's also a hot topic in the book of Revelation. In the Bible, the Euphrates River marks the dividing line between east and west. The ninth chapter of Revelation talks about a time during the Great Tribulation when an army of 200 million will move from east to the west toward Israel. Revelation 16 refers to these attackers as the kings of the east. They will use a highly mechanized army. They will start a nuclear exchange that will destroy one-third of what will be left of the human population at that time. The population of the entire world in the first century was little more than 200 million. So an army of 200 million must have seemed absurd. But that's what was revealed to John, so he wrote it. Even today, no nation has anything like an army of 200 million, but it's no longer unimaginable. China has a population of 1.4 billion and India, 1.3 billion. It's not a coincidence that these massive population centers are east of the Euphrates and in the area traditionally known as the Far East. China's army today, according to official figures, is about 7 million strong, far below 200 million. We don't know the accuracy of their figures, but we do know that China remains a communist country. Despite its entrepreneurs and capitalistic success, when it comes down to it, everyone works for the government. That means everyone's already conscripted. Almost five years ago, Bang Quang Li, then China's minister for national defense said, in the coming five years, our military will push forward preparations for military conflict in every strategic direction. You may be wondering how a nation with the fastest growing Christian community in the world will eventually go so wrong. Remember that these events happen after the rapture, after China's millions of Christians are gone and evil's restraint has been removed. In their long history, China has rarely been an aggressive nation. But we're seeing that change in this generation. As I mentioned last week, the U.S. has stepped up its aerial surveillance in the South China Sea as a way of challenging China's claim of sovereignty over the area. The People's Liberation Army is using massive dredging machines to increase the size of the tiny islands there. According to CNN, in just two years, China has expanded these islands by 2,000 acres, the equivalent of 1,500 football fields and counting an engineering marvel in waters as deep as 300 feet. They're populating these islands with military hardware. Earlier, they exerted their influence over the East China Sea. Disputes over these areas have been going on a long time between China, Japan, the Philippines, and others. But only recently has China begun to show these new levels of hostility. Former CIA Deputy Director Michael Morell spoke of a potential U.S.-China war. He said, it's not in their interest, it's not in our interest, but absolutely, it's a risk. We know from the Bible prophets that China will one day exert itself like no other nation ever before. On Sunday, May 